Well, I thought the other interesting thing was, uh, I guess Dana White came out and he said he wanted to debate, oh. um, what's his name? Fucking uh, De La Hoya. De La Hoya. On, on fighter this pay. Is, this is great. Yeah, he wanted to debate De La Hoya on fighter pay because um, everyone thinks that they, they know what's best for fighters. And the reality is the only mixed martial arts organization that has been around and is still around making millionaires out of fighters is the UFC. So you could talk all the shit you want. And I, dude, I'm not a fucking UFC shill by any means. I, you know, I'll, I'll fucking talk shit when it's necessary. But for people to talk shit about fighter pay with the UFC... I just kind of, I'm going like, dude, they've created an entire business where they have hundreds, if not thousands of people that are eating off of this business, and they're literally making millionaires out of guys that had no other path to do this before, and every other company who complained about fighter pay and, and started paying, I remember Affliction paid Tim Sylvia like $3 million to show up. It was like some crazy shit. Where is Affliction now as a, an MMA promotion? Where is Elite XC as an MMA promotion? Where are all these other people who came in and said that they were going to fix the fighter pay, uh, pay solution? They're not around because they didn't create a viable business model. And they didn't create a brand. So um, Dana White, obviously, he knows this very well. This is his business. He said, I'll debate you on fighter pay. So De La Hoya goes on. If you, Harrington, pull up the quote because I want you to actually read what De La Hoya said. De La Hoya went onto a radio program I believe on ESPN, and he responded to the challenge of a debate um, with something along the lines of, uh, he challenged it to a fight, right? What did he say, Harrington? Uh, yeah, he went on the Luke Thomas show and said, so Dana White ever the states... Uh, I have the video here. Oh, you have the actual video. Okay, you can play the video. Yeah, play the video. Uh, that was what he said in wow. response to your, in, to your request to debate. Sounds defensive here. Jeez. Your response? Let's get in the ring. <laughs> is that what, is that how you Come want to settle on. this? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's get in the ring. Three rounds. Let's do what? this. Let's 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 do this uh, uh, under Canelo Cinco de Mayo. I'll even give you five months so you can get off the juice, and then um, and then you know we can uh, we can uh, you know get in great shape, and then we go three rounds. And uh, look, I'm I'm gonna give you what a fifty pound advantage. It's okay. I can take you on. Let's do it. The thing about battling with Dana White, you know this from years of having watched while wow, you guys used to be oh, on wait. good terms. Oh, wait, he didn't. He's never laced up a glove in his life. I'm sorry about that. Boom. <laughs> Got him. It's pretty funny. It's pretty, it's pretty funny from Oscar there. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, listen, Dana's right. Dana went on, I think it's first take on ESPN. And uh, he was very worked up. He was, he was angry. Uh, because, you know, Oscar did, in effect, attack the UFC and, and and as you said Lewis you're right they have made and they are still the only promotion in business that's making millionaires out of fires that young kids that had no other path you know much like myself I was the exact same way and now life is good I got a platform I earned some money you know and if it wasn't for the UFC it wouldn't have happened that's a fact and uh, then you get someone like Oscar De La Hoya obviously boxing has been around for hundreds of years the best boxers in the world make ridiculous amounts of money. And we are seeing that now with the UFC. Of course, Conor McGregor is the obvious standout. Khabib just made a lot of money. Ronda Rousey was making a lot of money. And they'll be the next Conor McGregor. They'll be the next Khabib. They'll be the next superstar. John Jones, if he comes back and keeps his nose clean, beats Gustafsson and continues on that path of greatness that he's capable of, he could be one of those guys that you know is earning the ridiculous amounts of money. So obviously, uh, he took offense at what Oscar said. And Oscar said, you know, listen, we're going to pay our guys and all the rest of it. And Dana was very right. He said, listen, you know, you paid them $450,000 between the two of them. You know, two fifty dollars to uh, Chuck and two hundred dollars to Tito. So that obviously doesn't fall in line with the game that he was talking. But uh, And also, so you know, this is a great quote from this is a great quote from Dana White. He goes, I paid Chuck Liddell more money over the years not to fight in the last seven years, then he paid him to fight Tito Ortiz. That's a fact. Uh, number one, from 2011, 2017, when I asked him to retire, we paid him around $400,000 a year not to fight. <sighs> Which is true. There was there was Matt Hughes, uh, Forrest Griffin, I think, maybe Stephen Bonner. I don't know this for a fact. I'm speculating in Chinese whispers, rumors, whatever, that, uh, that, that those guys were on that kind of deal, the ambassador deal, with Chuck Liddell being one of the main ones. And 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 that was a great move by Zufa. Zufa, not W-M-E-I-M-G. That was a move by Zufa and Dana White and the Petitas, which I respect wholeheartedly. But, um, you know, new owners come in. They don't, you know, they, they, 
they have no relationship with Chuck Liddell. They don't owe him anything. They've paid 4.8 million for a company. Brilliant. They don't owe a debt. Oh, sorry, part part of me billion. Comment event uh, to uh, um, to um, <laughs> Chuck Liddell. You don't owe anything to Chuck Liddell. So so fair enough. You know. So and Dana's right. He's paid he paid him more not to fight than what they did. But um, in terms of a boxer, I mean, number one, Dana's not going to take that off. That's very. You know, it, it, it's it's a, it's a nice move by um, De La Hoya. And it would be great if you put that on the undercard on the uh, co-main event of, of a Canelo fight. Oscar De La Hoya, who was a legendary boxer, you know, and deserves respect. But, you know, um, he's had a few scandals, shall we say, over the years. But whatever, still a great boxer, still was one of the best in the world, still could throw hands, still could, you know, probably drop down very easily with a body shot. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he was one of the best boxers of our generation. You know what I mean? you got to remember that. But it's a nice move to him because there's no way Dane is going to agree to that. You know, he's a fucking promoter. And still, I assume his response will be something along, along the lines of, here we go, what an idiot. You're proving what an idiot you are now, Oscar, because I'm a promoter. I'm not a fighter. So yeah. it'll be something like that. It Well, look, I mean, it was kind of stupid. When, when they're debating something to even... To, to even say it's childish isn't it? if it's you can't childish. debate oh, let's fight let's fucking fight it's like no you numbskull I'm trying to debate you like an intellect we're trying to have a, an intelligent discussion you've accused me of something let's debate it oh, oh let's fight let's fight yeah, come on yeah, that obviously stupid. he hasn't got much to say. and it's yeah, also it's like silly. he's not another fighter you're talking about it's the equivalent of like me and you getting into like a debate and you're like, you know what? I don't want to debate. Let's just fight. I'm like, well, obviously you're going to win the fight. You're a fucking fighter. This isn't even a bit. We've been there. We've been there. <laughs> <laughs> we really have been. Like, where are we going to go here? Where is this possibly going to end up? I'm not, I, I like where this is trending. It's trending <laughs> in my direction. <laughs> we're, we're not going down that path, obviously. Yeah. So let's fucking have a conversation. Yeah. You fucking fuck. Dana White. This is fucking me, you psycho. What are you talking about? Listen, look, here, have a whiskey. Jesus Christ. Dana White looks like a fucking, he looks much better in this situation. I, you know, even, and this is, I don't want to disrespect Tito or Chuck, but when you look at, um, you know, Golden Boy and what they're doing, to, to say anything about the UFC, the only reason you're able to even create a promotion uh, uh, the shit promotion that you created was because of the hard work that the UFC put in. You're not building it off the back of boxing. You're building that off the back of the UFC. It's not people didn't come and buy that show because Golden Boy is promoting it. They bought it because it was Chuck versus Tito and some nostalgic UFC fans, some hardcore UFC fans. They said, "Cool, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go and watch this again because they'll watch anything that Chuck or Tito do." Right. Those are the people who bought it. It wasn't boxing fans that went like, well, let me go over into the MMA space now. That's not what the fuck happened. Boxing fans probably looked at that promotion as a joke as well. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's just take a quick second to hear from one of our sponsors, which is the amazing Ridge Wallet. Now, we've talked about the Ridge Wallet a few times on here, but I cannot, cannot recommend this thing enough. If you buy the Ridge Wallet, I'm telling you right now, it will change your life. Gone are the days of a big, fat, smelly wallet sticking, bulging out of your skinny jeans, okay, looking like you've got some kind of defect on your hip, full of statements and receipts and crap. No, the Ridge Wallet, as I said before, is like the Knight Rider of wallets. It is a very futuristic, slimline, sleek design that will definitely be the talk of the town. People will see and think, wow, this guy... Is forward thinking. This guy is futuristic and knows what's up. He's woke, Lewis, is what they'll think. <laughs> Every time I pull out my Ridge wallet, one thing I know is that men want to be me and women want to be with me. It's a it's a common occurrence. I pull it out. As soon as I pull it out, I women, they drop their panties. It's, it's, it's like being Harrington, right? It's it's like walking around like Michael Harrington just for one day of your life. Here's what it is, okay? Go to RidgeWallet.com and take a look for yourself. They take two sleek fucking plates the, the the ones that i have are made of titanium but they have a bunch of different materials they're really really nice really well put together and it's basically the size of your credit cards so you can keep all your credit cards in it you really got to see it to believe it you got to go to the website and actually take a look but it has a money clip attached to it as well I mean, it has rfid blocking so people can't steal your identity or steal your credit card information and it's just changed my whole perspective on what a wallet is i used to have receipts sticking out of it business cards sticking out of it it made my life feel very cluttered every time i put my hand on my wallet 
but I didn't even realize how much I was going to enjoy this until I had it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I love mine. I can't speak highly enough about it. And I was going to say, while whilst you're checking out the wallets, look at the other stuff they do as well. While you're on the website, check it out because I have the backpack. I have a couple of other things. Very, very cool. Very futuristic designs. Excellent technology. But Lewis, of course, we have a great deal for our listeners. Tell them all about it. So if you want to get a Ridge Wallet, here's what you have to do. Go to RidgeWallet.com slash BYM. That is R-I-D-G-E-W-A-L-L-E-T.com slash BYM. And use that promo code BYM if you click on the link in the episode's description. You're going to save 10% off your Ridge Wallet. This is a great Christmas gift. This is a great holiday gift for your family members. RidgeWallet.com slash BYM. Save 10% with the promo code BYM. Get your Ridge Wallet today.